it's 5.27 a.m. I've been up since about quarter to four, just waiting for everybody else to get up. It is our Orlando videos day one. I woke up so early, I woke up at quarter to four. I am always like it. I think it's just because, firstly, I get so excited and secondly, it obviously just takes a little time to adjust the first few days. The kids eventually woke up about five, half past five, and we've been getting ready. It's now seven o'clock and we're gonna head out to our first park. So we're doing Disney for the first three days of our Orlando trip and then we'll do some kind of Disney bits towards the end as well but for like the first three days we're actually doing the Disney parks and we're just so excited so our first day what what park are we doing today? Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. We thought that would be a really good park to start on because I thought, firstly because it's a Sunday, I thought Magic Kingdom, or is it Saturday? No, it's Sunday. I thought Magic Kingdom. It's also the Super Bowl today, so I don't know whether that's going to affect anything. Oh, we'll tell you in a minute, Lou. But basically, <laughs> it's a long thing. But basically, we thought that um, Magic Kingdom might be busy because it's a Sunday. So we thought we'd start with Hollywood Studios. I've just booked our Genie Plus. I thought that that would be really beneficial to us because we're only doing three days in the parks. And I've just booked our first thing, which I did Tower of Terror. I sort of panicked. I was like, I don't know which one to do. So I did Tower of Terror. Essentially, it's new. It's replaced the old like Fast Pass system from a few years ago. So we've never tried it before. So our first sort of like attraction is Tower of Terror at about 10 o'clock. So we're gonna head over, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna head over and get the bus to Hollywood Studios. We are just so excited to be here. I'm really excited to make some travel videos. I did a like arriving in Orlando and like travel day video yesterday, which I will link below. And like I said, I think I'm gonna try and do a daily vlog, which will be quite exciting. It will be really nice to look back on. I also just quickly wanted to say as well, that we're working with Visit Orlando on parts of this trip. So parts of our trip, they've kind of given us some discounts or tickets, um, and I'm gonna be creating some content for them on my Instagram. So um, I wanted to disclose that. So anything that's done like that, I will put in the description box below. But we are just so excited to be here, and we need to get going. Like all of a sudden the sun's come up like really quickly. It's not apparently gonna be like an amazing day today. We're wearing jumpers, um, but it's still gonna be so much fun. Yeah. Who's ready? Me. Let's go! <laughs> Ready? Are you holding the door for everybody? Yeah. We're all in our Mickey gear. Oh, where are your jumpers? Oh, my jumper. You definitely need a jumper. Have you got your jumper? Daddy's, Daddy's got it. Well done. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is cool. And then I got this one, Lottie, for her birthday. Yeah. Look at that one. That's a really cool one. Yeah. And underneath here. Oh, let's just... Oh, I nearly showed, nearly showed the old oh, tum. Oh, Mickey! Oh, John didn't, oh, hasn't worn that since 2018, so, so it's a little bit tight. Come on then, oh, thank you darling. So this is the contemporary resort. It's a good time to show it actually because it's really quiet and the monorail runs right the way through the hotel which I'm sure I'll get lots of video of. Um, there's Chef Mickey's down there and all the rooms look out onto it. Hold on, our train's coming so we can show you. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look at that, that is so cool. And then you can jump on that and go straight to Epcot. Or I can't actually remember, I think you can go and get to the transportation system and then go to Epcot. And you can walk to Magic Kingdom from this hotel or also get the monorail as well. Hollywood Studios, here we come. I can take someone at the front one. Thank so you. Free. We're here, oh, I'm so excited. This Toy Story Land, it's so quiet. We've headed here, I bet everyone else is heading to Star Wars. Ren doesn't know whether he particularly likes roller coasters, but he's going to be brave and give Slinky Dog a go. So we went to go on Slinky Dog Dash and then Ren was like, I don't want to go on it. So we left the queue and instead we've done two goes on Toy Story Midway Mania, which I'm gonna go and like put it out there and say that that's actually one of my favorite rides. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. So we did two, we got on like five minutes, like five minutes wait time each time because the park hasn't even opened yet. Daddy so, got best score. Yeah, Daddy got best score of the day, which we were like, whoa, and then we realized like there's probably only been like three goes on the whole ride all day. No, I'm sorry, John. I don't want to take away your thunder. You're really good, well done. Thank you. You've achieved in life. You've got the top score of the day on Toy Story Midway Mania. And now we're gonna go and look at Slinky Dog and just see what the queue's like. Now Ren knows. I think he thought like if he was in the queue he had to go on it, so he had a little freak out. But I think now he knows that he doesn't have to go on it, we can go on it because I think, I can't remember, but Disney do some sort of like 
rider queue when you're with like a person that doesn't want to go on it they can then go on and don't have to queue so we're gonna go and check that out and just see what the wait time is for it and then we need I need some Mickey waffles in my life five minutes of chill time just in a random spot in Hollywood Studios we've just been to what was the place called Mads Hollywood Scoops was yeah, it Hollywood Scoops. Hollywood Scoops to get some Mickey waffles which were delicious we had two sets between the five of us but that was six waffles I felt like we could have maybe got one set more but you know they're quite expensive so and they were blueberry and then we also got a plain plain set as well with whipped cream which was delicious and now we're waiting we're literally the Tower of Terror is just to my left and we're gonna go on that. We last came in 2018. Like nine or 2018, yeah. so how old would you have been in 2018? Five. Five, and she went on Tower of Terror and admittedly she didn't like it, but she went on it. She was very brave and went on it. And now she's saying that she doesn't wanna go on it. No. But you don't remember it, do you? No, I'm not going on it. She doesn't wanna go on it, so me and Mads are gonna go on it. I do a like rider swap so John can go on it, although John's saying he's not that fast, which I find utterly disgraceful because it literally scared. is mon one of my favourite rides in the whole of Disney World, Tower of Terror. Whole of Disney. In the whole of Disney World. Mads and I have just been on Tower of Terror. Honestly, I do think it's like one of the best it rides. It is the best. It's so much fun, it never ever gets old. Like, it just made, I just absolutely love it. It's so much fun. Oh my God, look, Cactus. Cactus Mickey. We're just looking, we're just in a little random shop looking at pins while Lottie, John, they're at a show, Lottie, John and Ren. Cool so we um, started collecting the pins when we came last time, but we can't see. The cast members all used to wear like lanyards around their necks and you could just go up to any cast member and ask them to like swap pins with you. Like that's one really cool thing that you can swap pins with the cast members. That's lovely. Open it and then close it. But for some reason we haven't seen any cast members wearing pins, so I don't know if they've stopped that. You might trade. Yeah, there's this one. Yeah, that's not. Or what about look, you don't massively love Tinkerbell, do you? You could try, swap Tinkerbell for uh, I was gonna say for Winnie. Yeah, that's but a that's good like idea. From the same set. Yeah. yeah. But you don't like Tinkerbell that much? She's, she's a massive Winnie the Pooh fan, so... And she has to have this I think one. that's a good idea. Yep. There we go, look at that. Rennie just traded that one. That's yeah. really cool. So he got rid of his other Donald Duck and got Minnie Mouse instead. Hey, Manny and Lossie show. Ren, what do you have to say to the camera? Oh, hello. on Toy Story Midway Mania for the third time today. We used our like Lightning Lane Genie Plus thing. I think I'm right in saying you can only use one per attraction a day, if you know what I mean. So you could only use Toy Story, Toy Story Midway Mania once, but we rode it twice this morning when there were no queues. And Ren is absolutely loving it. And we also went on the new Mickey and Minnie, what's that called? Runaway. Runaway train or something. And that was absolutely incredible. I think I got some quite good video footage of it. So I'm not really a Star Wars fan, but we've just come to the like Star Wars bit. This is all new, we've not seen it before because John wanted to see the Millennium Falcon. And it is actually really impressive. Like all the theming around here is amazing. not been on this before this was being oh, yeah. built the last time we came to Disney in 2018 so this is exciting 
we've had such a lovely day at Hollywood Studios. We went to the sci-fi movie, I don't know, I don't know how you say it, sci-fi dining movie diner. theater or sci-fi movie diner. I, I, I don't know, so one of those, right. but it's the coolest restaurant. Ah, oh, there you go, oh, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So it is like oh. the coolest restaurant. I think it's one of my favorites. We've been a couple of times now, haven't we? Uh, it's just really, really good fun. Like you sit in these cars. So now we are leaving Hollywood Studios. I did actually think that we would be there um, until it shut tonight. <laughs> But we um, feel like it. yeah, we didn't feel yeah. like it. I think we're all quite tired, but we and wanted to go on, and, it, and it's really cold. Yeah, it's no, like it is a little cold. bit cold. Um, I think this is supposed to be the well, coldest day of our one. trip, but it is actually quite cold. Know, so what we thought we'd do is rather than just go home on the bus, we thought we would get on the monorail. No, not monorail. Get on the Skyliner, and we would go. I think we've got to go to the Caribbean Beach Resort and then transfer to Epcot. But because you can get the monorail from Epcot to the Contemporary Resort where we're staying. We thought that that would be a really nice like way. And we thought we'd go into Epcot for like half an hour or so and maybe grab a pudding and because we haven't eaten enough food today. That's all we've done. I don't know. Oh, Maddie wants to do the Club Cool thing, the uh, soda thing, um, which we'll show you, which is really cool. So we that's thought we'd do cool. that. Club cool. Club cool. So that's what we thought we would do. Um, even if we just spend half an hour in Epcot, at least it's a more exciting it's mode of transport home than oh, just going home on the bus. Here we go. try these different sodas from around the world for free. So we're trying Sprite from Russia. Nice? Mm -hmm. Nice? It's alright. Sour plum tea from China. Go on then. Sour plum from China. <laughs> Everyone has to try that. Daddy, go on. This is Beverly. <laughs> so Mickey's said that they should give away this slush. What do you say then? Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mickey said just before bedtime, fill yourself with sugar. How kind. That's Disney magic, that is. We've just got in and they've laid all the cuddlies out in a line. That's so funny. That's how many cuddlies we were bought with us on holiday. Lottie snuck way more in than I thought she was going to, didn't you? And then she got a couple for her birthday. We're snuggling in bed, or I'm not. I'm uh, sorting out my photos onto my hard drive. But everybody else is cuddled up in bed watching the Super Bowl. Cool being in America when the Super Bowl's on. <laughs> 